the equipment necessary for centrifugation fecal method would be fecal solution, two Dixie cups, preferably paper, a cotton tip applicator stick or tongue depressor, slides, cover slips, either a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four gauze square, two conical 15 milliliter tubes, a test tube rack, and either a swing head or fixed head centrifuge. Many of you are currently doing standing fecal flotations. What I'd like to do is show you how to do a centrifugation method. We're going to use approximately 15 to 20 grams of fecal matter. Place it into a paper Dixie cup. Use approximately 20 to 25 mils or so of fecal solution, whether that be zinc sulfate or a sugar solution. Stir this with either a cotton tip applicator or a tongue depressor. You're going to want to create a homogeneous solution. Then we're going to filter this. We're going to use a, either a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four, and that has been cut down. So we're going to place this over our Dixie cup, use paper Dixie cups as the filtration process is a little bit easier. Create a divot with your finger and pour, carefully pour, the fecal solution into your other cup and straining it. Then you're going to place the 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four into your other cup carefully. Now we're going to take our supernatant and pour it into a 15 millimeter conical tube. We're going to fill it up to approximately 12 milliliters. Now we're going to take our centrifuge and spin this supernatant, place it into the centrifuge, and then take our balance and place this into the centrifuge opposite from the fecal solution tube. We're going to spin this at 1200 RPMs for five minutes. This is a fixed head centrifuge. If you have a swing head centrifuge or non-fixed head, we'll take our original centrifuge tube with fecal solution in it, take additional fecal solution and add to the tube until you create a meniscus. Take a cover slip and place it on the, on the conical tube. And you'll notice that there's a bubble underneath the cover slip. That indicates that there's surface tension there. And when you spin that tube in a swing head centrifuge, the surface tension will hold the cover slip in place. Once the centrifuge comes to a complete stop, we'll open the top and remove the fecal conical tube. You'll see that the conical tube, the fecal solution, has been adequately separated. And we will place this into the test tube rack. Now we're going to add additional fecal solution to create a meniscus. We're going to add a cover slip to the meniscus and let that stand for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we will read the sample by taking the cover slip and placing it on a glass slide. 